What's happening, YouTube? First, it's your boy, Dark Hilarity. Welcome back to another episode of Occupy Mars. Why do I have my helmet on my, in my base? Well, because I can. Because I don't need to take it off anymore, so I'm not going to. So last episode, last episode we ended off in this direction. We ended off building our greenhouse. So we're ready to start mass producing plants, baby. Oh, yes, are we ever. <laughs> I'm excited about it. But what I got to do first is uh, we got to build everything in here. And you know what I realized? When you look at these spaces, when you pull out your uh, your blowtorch, you don't have to go into your blueprints. You don't have to come into the menu, click the thingies that you need to put down. You can close. You can just whip this bad boy out and it just shows you what you can build in what places. Like how friggin' amazing is that? So I've, uh, I've gathered a bunch of resources for us. Let's go, uh, we're gonna run over here. Let's put this away for now. We're gonna come back in here. We are gonna, we're gonna build that. No, nope, I went the wrong way again. <laughs> wrong way. And wrong way again. I don't even know. I gotta put some signs up or something. I don't even know my own way around my own base. So if I come in here, as you can see in the inventory, we got a little bit of resources in here. Not too much, but we got some in there. But I also got a bunch more in here. And if you look over here, I crafted up a bunch of stuff too. So we've got a bunch of things for building. Because today, we're going to need to uh, increase the amount of water we have. But first, I guess we'll go ahead and we'll wall this stuff up. So this here, I don't remember what this is called. But I don't even actually know if, uh, if this was a feature before. But hey, it's new to me put a sink down we got a refrigerator we get one of these bad boys whatever that thing is what is that seed modification machine cool we'll need one of those and then i think we can just weld all these up oh man so i think we're gonna have to increase our water by a decent amount uh we've got some materials points which is good because i want to get the water pump materials. what what am i missing mm, i need a small circuit board okay do i need any other circuit boards in here I don't think so. What about you guys? No, you guys just need that stuff. What about you guys? No, okay, so we need one small circuit board and we'll put a fridge here too. Okay, we have two refrigerators now. Oh man, we can get rid of the one we currently have, which will be uh, which will be nice. Uh, where is my circuit board? I think my circuit board's over here. Um, yeah, let's come into here. I was talking about before under materials, we need the pump extensions because we need to be able to connect multiple pumps to this bad boy technology access level and luckily we've got freestanding tanks so we can do our water tank i'll do the big tanks i don't think i'll do the little tanks i'll do the big one um in here is where we have the small circuit boards let's open that drag one of those out of there perfect and get the rest of the stuff welded up it's gonna take me a minute to memorize the locations of thing and the things in the base <laughs> i'm bad at it get lost i get lost in my own house i mean come on there we go. And it's not even big, right? <laughs> okay, well, this guy up. Nice, we got a composter. That's actually gonna be important because I think we need to make soil to put into here at some point too. Um, but we'll worry about that. We gotta do water first. Water's gonna be the most important thing. Weld you up, weld you up, weld you up. And then I think we just got this fridge left here. So we'll weld that up too. Oh, beautiful. Look at it. Oh, man. It's just full of all the goodness. All the goodness. And we probably at some point should do, um, because we've unlocked them already, I believe. Would it be under living? No. Would it be under hab? Where would it be? What I'm looking for is, uh, definitely wouldn't be there. Maybe food. No, not food. Living, it's definitely not under living. I'm looking for the domes. I'm looking for the dome. Can I just search dome? Maybe we haven't unlocked the domes yet. I feel like, oh, you know what? We haven't unlocked them in the tech tree. We unlocked the, um, what you call it. And I think the domes are, you're probably gonna be under botany. They're probably gonna be under here. Yeah, we've got the blueprints for the domes, wherever they are. Yeah, the large dome and the medium dome but we don't have the points to spend onto that now. Okay, cool. So we don't have to worry about doing Tommy time soon. I was thinking if I had it unlocked, we do it so that, nope, got to turn. <laughs> so that we can plant the tree seeds that we have. Um, I guess before we go out there, let's have a look under, I need to close some of this stuff down. Too many things are open, too much going on. We need to be under uh, resources, perfect, which is right here. So we need more wells. Uh, none of them require circuit boards, so that's sweet. What about the tanks? These guys don't really require any circuit boards either. Ooh, they require a lot of steel though. 
and a lot of screws, but I think we only need one. I think we only need one pump station that requires a small circuit board. We've got a pump station already, but we might as well, um, we might as well grab another circuit board just in case, just in case. Look at all those electricity points. You look at the top of the screen, center of the screen. We got nine electricity points. <laughs> I don't want to take that whole thing. Let's open this and we might as well, we'll grab two just in case we need them for something. I don't know if we will, but better safe than sorry. That's for sure. So the wells use five power each. We've got a lot of power going on. I guess I'll run over here real quickly. Also, someone dropped a comment, which I think is super useful and uh, I'm gonna utilize that. If you take the batteries out of your Rover, you can put them in the battery charger in your base. So it charges faster than plugging in it. I didn't know that. So we're gonna have a second set of batteries. So we always got a set. We might even do three. So we always got an extra one in the Rover too. So I finished our second battery pack here. So we got two full battery packs, giving us a total storage of, what's that, 3,060? <laughs> oh, that's a lot, baby. And uh, we're bringing power over there already, but I think what I'm gonna have to do is move that to a transformer. Unplug it from that well, and then move it to its own transformer. I'm not gonna set up another battery pack because I don't think that we need it. And I'm thinking we will set up the transformer. Where do I wanna set up the transformer? Maybe like here, somewhere around here is where we'll do it. Just in case I wanna build or something in that area. I don't wanna have it there. Okay, so blueprints, uh, electricity, and we're gonna need the first thing. We're gonna start with the transformer. So let's get this guy up here. We're gonna go that way and we're gonna turn it uh, this way like that. Perfect. Get you welded up. Give me a little blue spot. Boom. Done. Nice. And then we might as well just take this electricity right from here. Boop. And we'll just run it back this way. Actually, you know what? No, we're going to pick up that whole wire because we're going to need to change some stuff anyway. And then I think what I'm going to do is let's disconnect this. And we'll disconnect this because I think we can probably plug in our water to the greenhouse. Is that a thing? Is that possible? Can I plug it into the greenhouse? No, let's crouch down here. Yeah, right here. Oh, perfect. That's actually kind of beautiful. We could bring it in right here and boop, right into there. Okay. I like that. I like it a lot. And I think we'll have our water tank sitting right here. So we need to, uh, we need to get rid of this thing. This pump station, it got to go because we don't need it anymore because we're gonna set up new ones. Perfect. Okay, let's start ourselves with a uh, water tank. This big boy right here, this is what we're gonna do. We'll rotate it this way, water in, water out. I like that. We'll bring it um, maybe right there. That'd be a good spot. And then we could do like oxygen tanks and stuff next to it. Oh yeah, look at the size of that. <laughs> is that going to be more water than we're ever going to need? Yeah, probably. It probably is going to be. But uh, that's okay. We're going to do it anyway because uh, you can never have enough. You can never have enough water, especially on a place like Mars where water is limited. You're, uh, we're sucking it out of the ground, man. We got to make sure that we have enough storage. What happens if the ground runs out of it? Which I don't think is the case in this game. But hey, you know, realism for the win. <laughs> okay, uh, we're not going to connect anything up to that yet. I want to start... We will put our well deal um, blueprints. I want ourselves to get the pump station right here. Let's raise it up. We'll come this way and maybe we'll put it like kind of in line, at least a little bit in line with that. So we got to make room for extensions if we need them too. So let's put it there. We'll weld this guy up. Let's see if we get these blue marks so it goes a little bit quicker. Perfect, we got that done. Now, how much water do we wanna do? How many of these do we wanna do? So let's see, right now you're doing uh, 5.78 water. Um, is that height gonna work for the other ones? No, cause we're kinda higher up here. So I think what we're gonna do is we're, unfortunately, we're just gonna get rid of this guy. We're gonna, we're gonna destroy it. We're gonna start at a new height in a new place. And inventory, let's go with the well. We'll raise it up, give it a twist. And do we maybe want to just go this way? That kind of makes sense, right? Maybe we'll start the first one like up a little more. Yeah, we'll start the first one here. And then blueprints, let's get, do we need this? 
This is for oxygen, right? Well reactor, well expansion. Oxygen tank, methane tank. Vertical tank, pump station. Okay, what happened? If I put this on here... Oh, we gotta weld it up first. I think we gotta weld this up first. And I believe this was our water outside. But I wanna see, does this add... What does this even do? No, I need, uh, I need blueprints. Well, expansion. Okay, let's put it on there and see kind of what happens here. Oh yeah, we can put one on each side. I honestly think that this is just for like methane or oxygen. Let's weld one up. Let's weld one up and see what it uh, see what it says to us. Or can we do, do we do water and... Okay, you're doing a bunch of things. Okay, that's cool. Does that increase our water production? Coming here, water production's 5.5, .5, oxygen production zero, methane is zero. But if I put on 5.5 uh, .5 liter, efficiency is 92%. I don't know if we need those right now, honestly, because I think if I were to put a tank on here, right here, then it's gonna start producing. You know what, we might as well test it out. Um, let's take an oxygen tank. Yeah, see, that's gonna produce oxygen right so can i can produce water oxygen and methane all in like one thing i'm not going to do methane right now but oxygen might actually be a thing right so if i had an oxygen tank there let's see blueprints uh we need another one of those uh reactor deals put you on here let's weld all these up i don't think we're going to need a lot of oxygen but you know what it might be handy for filling up the rover's oxygen and I know you guys let, uh, not enough materials. What am I out of here, dude? I'm out of small pipes. What are the odds of that? I'm never out of small pipes. We need pipes, screws, and we need more steel and we need all kinds of stuff. So I guess we'll better craft, craft that up. But I, as I was saying, I think uh, you guys definitely dropped a comment down below and let me know that the oxygen runs out super quickly in that. Probably because I'm breathing it the entire time too. Uh, even, even with my helmet on, but you know what? I'll probably keep it full because I'll, it, it lasting a little bit is better than it lasting, than not having any of it at all, right? Uh, just leads to you being able to have more oxygen while you're out and about. Uh, okay, we need steel pipes. So let's go ahead and craft up. Wow. Wow, those are kind of expensive. I think we'll do uh, 35 of those for now. We needed some more steel plates. So let's do some more steel plates. I think we'll do 30 of those also. I mean, we still have more resources in storage, so it's not even a big deal. It's not even a problem. Um, was I going to be out of anything else? I don't know. Steel plates. We got iron. I think we're good. I think we're fine with what we have once these are built. I think so. I decided to craft up a bunch more stuff, put some more resources in here just to make sure we're not short. And you know what? Before nighttime comes, um, do you have power? No, you're offline. The electricity workbench. I do need to power that. And I believe it is this one. 3D printer. Nope. The electricity workbench. Okay, let's... Power you on because I think in this tree, we've got a lot of points, electricity. I think what we can do is we can get our protection from cold at nighttime. I think we're at that point now. Where is it? Protection from cold. Let's get that. <laughs> electricity. Oh yeah. Access level um, we got a lot of points, man. We might as well spend them up. Big wind turbine. Yep. Let's get that going. Don't know if we'll use that. Access level increased. More efficient DIY, I don't want to do that yet. Energy converted, let's store more power. I do like the way that sounds. Hanger fast charging, we don't even have a bloody hanger yet. Uh, more efficient solar panels, yep, we're gonna get that for sure. I do want to check out antennas at some point, so we're gonna do that too. Uh, small accumulator upgrade, which is gonna give us uh, increased ATV battery, sure. We gotta come this way anyway. It doesn't give us a choice. We gotta go. More efficient soup battery. Mm-hmm. Big antenna. That might be cool. What's this? Significantly increase the amount of stored energy, which I think is pretty sweet. We're almost at the end of this electricity tree already. <laughs> oh, yes, we are. So we'll grab this. Oh, automated panel cleaning. Man, I want that so bad. I want that so bad. And then I think we might as well uh, increase our power storage even further. Technology access level increase. Soldering station is a work in progress. Okay, well, I don't really need that right now. So we might as well go 
We might as well go for the big antenna. We don't have a hanger just yet, so we'll go with this. Technology access level increased. Woo! That was a lot of points. We spent a lot of points. And how are we looking in here? Uh, darn it, I need to turn that on. Might as well turn off the electricity one. Electricity, was that not the electricity one? Maybe it wasn't. I guess we'll leave that on. Uh, electricity workbench. Did these switch positions? Maybe they didn't. Maybe I'm losing my mind. I have no idea. Uh, we'll turn that on and we'll turn the materials one on too. Just in case we want to have a look and see if there's anything in that we need to do. Available point for technological advancement. Mm, thank you very much. I love available points for technological advancements. Jackhammer 3, we've got Detector 3. Um, which is going to be handy whenever we get to the point we want to do some mining and stuff. Radio base control. ETV rocket engines, uh, controller range, welder. We got the automatic rock lifting, antenna remote control, heavy suit. Oh man, what does that do? I have no idea. We might as well come all the way back to the beginning and see if there's things in here we can spend on. We'll get detector three. Mechanics, technology access level increased. Oh yay, uh, rover scan mode, sure, let's do that. Mechanics. Technology access level increased. Oh, a detonator? That's that'll make mining a lot easier. I say we go that way. Mm-hmm. Let's come in here. Technology yep. access level increased. Boop. Sweet. Okay. That's all of our points there we spent. Let's come into the materials workbench. Did we have materials points? Okay, we got two. We got two materials points, long corridors. I don't think so. Meteor defense, baby. We gotta set that up materials. at some point. Technology access level increased. Oh, I want this. I want this right now. Oh, I'm going to leave that extra point in case I find that at some point in life. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's turn these off. We will turn. Come on. There. There's like a sweet spot. You really got to find it. Like, come on. Let me. There we go. Or else you end up just pulling out the circuit. And that's super frustrating, man. Coming to here. Inventory. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, we got cables. We got wires. We got pipes and tubings and all the things for all of the water needs we have going on and we can stay outside at nighttime now which <laughs> believe me is awesome that you know what I, i'm excited about that i hate almost dying because it's cold outside it's just crazy okay so we gotta weld up this tank weld up that tank don't know how much oxygen we're gonna need i know it's gonna use more power i think we're gonna be using like 15 power or something ridiculous like that now which really, you know what, isn't that bad. So with just that one tank, which means this one reactor is going, now we're producing nothing. Shouldn't we be producing oxygen? Oh, we're only got five power right now, so it's only producing water. So we gotta plug this bad boy in. Uh, I think we gotta add a second tank on here. So that's not what I want to do at all. Let's go into blueprints. Let's add on another oxygen tank right here. We'll weld this up. And then I guess we better bring some power over so we can get started divvying up our power. I'm thinking uh, we're gonna send over here. How much power do I wanna send this way? So that's gonna be 15. I'm almost certain that's gonna be 15. Yeah, my plants are withering. That's okay, we got a bigger greenhouse, baby. It doesn't even matter. I'm assuming that's gonna take 15 power. So I think I'm gonna send over but the other ones are just gonna be water. I don't think we need to do more oxygen than that. I think that's more than enough oxygen because most of the time we're not even gonna use it because we've got plants. So um, let's come into here. I'm thinking on the one which was this one here. Let's send over, so we got 169. We got more than that. How much total are we doing now? This one will tell me 288. Okay, we got 288 total coming through. I think these are all set up to that as well, too. Sending through the max. We're sending 140 here. Let's go ahead and send, what, 15 and then 5. So it's going to be like 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Let's send over 40 power for now. This 30, we actually don't even need that. And oops, I took a screenshot, I guess. Uh, this 30, we don't need that there. That can just be zero because we'll charge the rover batteries in the base for now on. Okay, that's good. Uh, was that slot number two? I think that was slot number two. Slot number two, it was slot number two. Let's go ahead and connect up our power. Boop, right there. We'll want to run all the way around this thing. It's a long way to run a power cord, but man, whatever. I think in my previous playthroughs, I had water on its own power network with solar panels and all the stuff. This time, 
I'm not too concerned about it. I think I was being a little over redundant, but you know what? In science aspects, it's not, it's not a bad thing, right? But uh, in this case, it's fine. Boop, there we go. Now we've got 40 power coming over here. E in use zero, yeah, we got 40, okay. So let's send 15 through set one. And we need to plug into here. And we need to plug into the back of here. Boop. And then let's have a little looky poo here. Does it say how much power we need? Yeah, it's 15, I was totally right. And now we're producing oxygen also. <laughs> we got water, we got oxygen. Yep, that's sweet. Now I'm thinking, what am I thinking? I'm thinking we turn this one into right here. Let's turn this one into, now uh, you know what? We'll just connect our pipes up here. That's how you do it, you connect your pipes. So, okay, we're gonna put oxygen here and then we're gonna put oxygen here and then we're gonna put this water one. Is that a cord on the ground? There's a cord on the ground. We're gonna put water there Give me that cord, give me that cord and let's turn our flashlight on. Okay, so we've got oxygen coming through here. We got water. Let's go ahead and set up a, um, this one's going water to be, oh, cool. You can refill your water there. Good to know. Okay, this is number one. This is gonna be oxygen. And then these are all gonna be water, right? Yeah, beautiful. And then we can just go ahead and start storing water. Uh, Not what I wanted to bring out pick that up again and we'll pick this up again why don't you just drop them on the ground buddy there we go okay water will just pop into there and you know what we don't even need two water we just need one water and i better go ahead and connect this one up too so we start getting water into the base and we can just come back here and boop, perfect okay we need a tank we need an oxygen tank blueprint so if i do a second freestanding tank here and it's in the same way, lined up here. Will this one turn to oxygen? That's gonna be a lot of oxygen storage, but hey, whatever. What did he do? It's uh, you can never have too much storage stuff. You know what I mean? Like I love breathing air. So we better store this stuff, right? Methane, I think we need it for the jetpack or something, but if it still works the same way, it's it'll make more sense for us just to craft new jetpacks rather than the filling up. That's what I did before and it uh, that worked dandy. Now I remember, why do you always drop it on the ground, bro? Now I remember there being an issue with tanks and oxygen last time. It did go blue, did go blue. Oh my gosh, we're setting up fluids and gases, baby. Right in here. Okay, and then we'll plug you right into there. There we go. We got water and we got oxygen at the house or at the base. That's amazing. I'm gonna sleep till nighttime because it's, uh, or till daytime because it's nighttime and uh, I like doing stuff in the day. Oh yeah, what a good sleep. I'm so glad they sent me up here to Mars with this prison mattress. Honestly, could they not have come up with anything better than this? Jeez, look at that pillow. Look at it, it's pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Let's have ourselves a little sippy poo Source from our- empty. Oh. Oh, source empty. Okay, are we not, is water uh, not watering right now? Where, where am I going? How do I get out of my base? Which way do I go? <sighs> okay, we found it. Um, Is water not watering? Is that what's happening right now? I didn't even look through those warning messages. Might be important to pay attention to those. Plants are too close. Plants are close to wither. No, not my plants. That's okay. We got more. We can make seeds. Okay, are you working? Do you need power, dude? I don't think so, it was working before, right? Oh, you know what we didn't do? Um, we didn't do this. Water, I'm just gonna, let's just go 100. I don't know, we'll just max these out. That's fine. Uh, two use, zero, water, 100. That's output, input right now, 100. Okay, so are things, are they flowing? Are they moving and grooving? I don't know. Are you filling up? Is there a way for me? Uh, yeah, your water. I don't remember. Was it in the map? Was the map what showed you? You come into here and you click on fluids. What well, shows me that's water. That's red. Everything's red. Did I mess up? I don't know. This thing sounds like it's working. Let's have a little look here. 
Water uh, stored is going, it's definitely going up. Oxygen, or no, they're going down. Efficiency is 92%, 92%. Because they're draining into the tank or into the base currently right now, I think. Let's have a little look here. Does it show us anything? O2, zero. Two use is zero. In use is a 100. Okay, storage input 7.7. .7. I don't know what that means, man. I think it's working. <laughs> I think it's working, but I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave that for now. Let's come blueprints, and we need our pump station extension. Let's put, um... Oh, man, you... I hate that you got to weld these. I just want to place them all down. Hit that little blue spot, that little blue spot, and let's do one more. Blueprints, pump station extension, and we'll weld these up. Oh, yep. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and set up a couple more wells. Blueprints, well. Now I want these to be kind of in the same place. But we're going to leave... Do I want to leave a space, man? These ones are just going to be water. Like, Do I want to space them apart? I don't think so. If I need more oxygen or if we need methane, then I think we'll... Uh, then we'll build new ones. But for now, I'm going to turn it around. Oh, you know what? These ones are facing the wrong way. I think I'm going to do four of these. There's one there. And rotate you around, line you up. And I think we need to grind this guy down. Also, the spacing's all messed up. Darn it! Okay, this is going to be the fourth one. Little spots there. We can't do this one now. I don't have enough pipes and I don't have enough iron to make any more pipes. But we've got four more wells right now, and we're gonna need to connect power to those, which means we are gonna need. Please don't tell me I need uh pipes for, for these power extensions. I do not. Pop that on there. We'll weld this guy up. These blue spots speed things up for us. Okay, perfect. And then we can just go ahead and uh, we'll plug all these in. And since they're just water. We only need five electricity per well. And uh, that should give us all the water we need, hopefully for now for our greenhouse. But we'll see when we get in there exactly how much we need. Even though we have storage tanks, I still think for the most part, I would like our water production to be more than our consumption. Um. I mean, obviously is the case with everything, right? So let's go ahead. We're going to send through five, five, five. So that's going to be what? 20, 25, 30 and 35. So we got an extra five coming this way. Oh, no, wait. Did I send only 30 over here to use? I only sent 30. So we need to, I need to send another five this way. I don't know what's talking about. I'm sending 40 this way. Also, I noticed those solar panels are all overlapping. Oh man, that's okay. I'm not moving them. Um, so two use 30 why i'm sending 40 over here uh in use right now oh you know what i have 30 left to use this is only using 10 because all these solar panels are currently powering these right now okay nothing to worry about everything's fine let's pick that back up bring out these and we're going to connect all of our water from these guys all to here oh yeah look at all this juicy drinky poos we got we got all the water Man, okay, let's see. How much water are we producing now? I wonder if it shows us on, like, the well terminals. We got 5.8 water happening in this one. We got 5.75 in here. Okay, I'm just going to say 5 for each one, right? So we got 5, 10, 50, 20, 25 water. Let's see what this thing's reporting in terms of production. Does it? H2O, 2 use is 0 because we're sending through 100 uh in here daytime production is 1.83 1.83 what would be producing 1.83 i guess the first one is because it's using water to produce oxygen which okay that's fine that makes sense uh in use 24 okay i see here so in use we got 24 of it being used uh daytime production totals 24.65 for uh, for water so almost 25. So that should be enough for our greenhouse activities, I think. Let's get in there and see. Um, 
Once these plants are done growing in here, we'll, uh, oh man, they didn't wilt. That's so good. Oh, they were so close. Uh, you guys are done? Yeah, you're done. Perfect. We'll grab these potatoes out of here. Grab our potatoes. Nice. Um, this is our, is this the refrigerator? Yeah, we can grab this and we'll grind this fridge down because it's using power and we don't need it to be using power anymore. We don't need this here anymore. We're done with it because we got two more refrigerators. Holy man, it takes all damn day to grind this boy down. Holy cannoli. Um, and we'll move all our seeds and stuff in a minute. We'll move it all in a minute. I think, um, let's come over here. Oh man, this, I'm so excited to get plants into here. But for now, you know what? We got all of our water set up, which was the whole point of today. Uh, we're gonna, we got a bunch of, we got a bunch of greenhouse stuff to do. And that's, we're gonna do next episode. We're already, we're already 30 minutes into this episode. So, uh, we're gonna have to continue this next episode. If you guys like the video and you want to watch me do this stuff, and uh and you like it go ahead smash that like button guys that really does help with the channel and uh you know what if you're not yet subscribed and you want to see more content just like this as well as some of the other shenanigans i get up to go ahead smash that subscribe button that way you're going to be notified on when the next video when we get to finish this greenhouse when that comes out all right everybody thanks for coming out and we will see you uh, next time peace